So the Create Barn started life as a cattle barn, which was left derelict for 10 years. We knew that they wanted to uh, reduce the environmental impact, to have an eco-renovation. We built the Denbydale Passive House, new build, and we wanted to take that experience into a radical retrofit. Passive House is the leading international low energy building standard and it concentrates on a robust approach to the fabric of the building to reduce uh, energy use and therefore uh, reduce the impact on climate change. To achieve Passive House certification you need to meet some very rigorous performance criteria and that involves a high level of attention to detail and a really high quality build standard. Passive House can be applied to new build or to retrofit and that's why we encourage the Yorkshire Wildlife Trust to go on the Passive House route with the Enerfit Passive House Retrofit Standard. The Still Community Farm is all about showing people how we can farm in a wildlife friendly way and in a real low input way as well. And it was really important for us to make sure that the buildings on the farm reflected the farming practice as well. So we're very low input on the farming practice and we're also very low input on the buildings as well. So Passive House really appealed to us because we're all about trying to cut the amount of energy needed to heat the building in the first place. So we looked at a lot of options from uh, wood pellet boilers, biomass boilers, things like that, to heat the building, but Passive House came out on top because you actually only really need a small amount of energy to heat the building in the first place because of the amount of insulation that goes into the building. So this is the education space. This is where we bring the school children to learn how to cook the food from the garden outside. And this is the kitchen. And as you can see, it just looks like any normal building. Um, apart from obviously all the uh, ventilation equipment up on the top there. The barn was in a pretty bad state really. It was evident that there'd been movement in the walls. Unfortunately, we had to underpin the foundations amongst other structural works. To get this building to perform to Passive House Enerfit levels, was basically a box within a box, which is basically a timber frame building within the masonry barn itself. This allowed us to get the amount of insulation, minimise the thermal bridging and the air tightness that is necessary for such buildings. That's had a shed up against it. Sometimes. Yes, it has, so it's yeah. had years of being sheltered. Well, it actually did. It had sort of the, the pens, you know, yeah. milking pens in there. And they've had Part of the box within a box timber frame approach was that we were able to stabilise the masonry. This was done by casting in concrete blocks into the existing masonry and then tying that concrete block to the timber frame with a, a version of these ties, teplo ties. These are made of basalt rock and resin and are um, an insulator, if you like, in their own right, but extremely strong. We are aware that there might be a danger of moisture buildup in the timber frame within the masonry outer rain screen, but we have gone to long lengths to ventilate that cavity so we've put in air bricks every three meters or so around the base and the eaves of the building um, and also we're very lucky in that Leeds Met University is monitoring the uh, moisture within the timber frame which is showing very positive results at the moment. Sturley Farm has two Novus 450 metre cubed an hour ventilation units. Uh, both are CO2 controlled. One of the ventilation units is primarily for the main hall and the second one is for the meeting room. But the meeting room air will cascade through the main hall adding to the ventilation where the highest occupancy will be. So we find a really nice, pleasant, comfortable place to work and it's really nice and warm in the winter and it's really cool in the summer when it's hot outside. And one thing we have noticed is it's really quiet as well, so um, we get lots of work done. We're extremely proud to have undertaken this project. 
We believe that the, uh, the way that we've dealt with this building provides a, a template maybe for others to take Passive House forward with historic buildings. We're delighted that Yorkshire Wildlife Trust have embraced Passive House and have uh, taken this project to the NFIT standard and it's absolutely great that the public will get a chance to experience Passive House for themselves at the Create Barn at Sturley Farm.